About three, about three, four years ago, a group of us got together and wanted to do something to help Vietnam veterans find a way to heal and their families to heal. So we did the paperwork, and last November we were told we had the wall coming in, and they gave us a date that would be here this past whole week. So last Tuesday, the 22nd, we escorted it from Harley Davidson in Savannah up to Bryan Commons, all the way up 17 in the Riceboro, because Riceboro has two of the four names on the wall, were born and raised in Riceboro, and the others were in Hinesville and Walterville. So we got it here Wednesday, early Wednesday morning, we started setting it up. When we come back, everybody knows how the Vietnam veterans were treated. We made it a point, not myself, but all Vietnam veterans made it a point, we had to do something to recognize the Vietnam veterans and their families who served during that tedious time due to the fact nobody seemed to care about us. And we made a promise to all veterans and their families then that never again would a veteran come back or a service member come back without being recognized. I'd tell them, come on out here at 3 o'clock in the morning and tell somebody that's a bunch of plastic with a bunch of names on it because the feeling itself will get to you right then and there. I've seen guys, hardened combat vets from Desert Storm, Iraq and Iran come out here and say, my God, this place has some weird but soulful feelings. It makes you reflect on what actually happened. Mm -hmm. You know, for the 58,200 plus on this wall, including eight nurses, you know, it is really soul soul wrenching and soul searching and this wall is a replica of the one in washington dc tell me a little bit about that you said it's a, a quarter of the size or something this is a two uh three quarter size replica of the wall in washington dc brought to, down here by vietnam veterans memorial foundation members which we have three of their staff with us at all times but what makes this wall different than all the other traveling walls is the 55-foot educational trailer that tells you the history of Vietnam, lists hometown heroes, lists heroes on the wall. How many people on this wall did you personally know? Far too many. I know about, f f I, I'd say, I can comfortably say 45. And when you saw the name, what went to your mind? Well, last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, I sat down and had a couple beers with a few of them right here and just... Me and them had a drink or two and, hey guys, I'm here. We're not letting you be forgotten. We're here anytime you need us. And I know that they're here for me when I need them. Mm. Lost her life prior to that. But this is when you know, the State Department has said, we have, we lost our first, we had our first casualty. Now, this wall represents, and so it's done by the day that we lost. So every day there are names put on that wall in that order. Um, my first sergeant brought us here to view the names of the Vietnam War um, people who died. So we just came and seen all the names, yeah. And what do you think about this? Um, I think it's really eye-opening. Like, I didn't really know much about the Vietnam War, but now that I am, he's, this man's, he's um, given us really, like, fun facts about the Vietnam War, and we're learning more stuff that I didn't even know. Now I do. So, so what are you walking away with? Um, I guess... I say gratitude and appreciation because all these people fought in the Vietnam War for, I guess, a better life for all of us now. So I'm walking, I'm walking out of here with some gratitude.